Plymouth Argyle extended their unbeaten run in the championship to five games with a goalless draw at home to Burnley. The result sees them drop to seventh place in the table, but they'll surely feel they should have taken all three points and climbed to third behind Cardiff and Preston. They created by far the better chances and it took a combination of some good work by Burnley goalkeeper Brian Jensen and the frame of the goal to deny Argyle their sixth league win of a highly encouraging season so far. The weekend sport and uh, I'm afraid to say the size of the crowd that turned out at Argyle on Saturday was rather surprising, wasn't it, Mark? So what's the explanation for that then? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I haven't got an explanation, I'm afraid. Yes, it was disappointing to see less than 13,000 at home park for a match between two sides in the championship playoff zone. So where are the missing four or 5,000 to cheer Argyle towards promotion to the Premiership? Wade Elliott to swing it in towards that back post, so it wasn't very well defended. The ball is still bobbling about. Gray trying to get on the end of it. And Argyle eventually scrambling it away, but not the most convincing defensive work from Argyle on that occasion. Chance for them to break now. Capaldi picking out David Norris. Looking to get the cross in towards Sylvan Ebanks. Blake, can he get a shot away here? There's three players around him, and the ball just wouldn't come down for him. Buzaki looking to give Capaldi the return ball. Cross driven in and Jensen having to turn it over the top. Sinclair nibbling at him and Hales has got away. Norris and Ebanks Blake in the middle. Watton arriving on the edge of the area as well. Played in towards Ebanks Blake and it was a good save and an important save from Brian Jensen then. Foster's header away. Buzaki with the first time effort and Good save from Brian Jensen. Capaldi swinging it in towards the near post. This is Barry Hales trying to get the shot through and turned over the top. Headed away by Foster, but straight to Akos Buzaki looking for Hales through the middle. This is Barry Hales. He's got round the goalkeeper. Can he squeeze it in? Oh, he's got support from Norris if he can find him. Well, he just seemed to spend an age on the byline. Eventually, the ball scrambled away. Buzaki trying to get the shot in now. Norris. Chance for him to get off on a little run. He's got Sylvan Ebanks Blake and Barry Hales up ahead of him. This is Ebanks Blake. He'll produce a decent cross here. Oh, it came right across the face of the goal. Buzaki with the free kick curled in nicely. Oh, Johnson lost it and then found it again. Well, the big Dane was almost in trouble then. It's going to be Watton to strike it. Oh, it was well blocked. Still not clear though, he banks Blake over the top. Barry Hales! Oh, did that cross the line? Well, the referee says no. Buzaki trying to fire it in and... Oh, how did that stay out? Hales can hardly believe it. He's been amazing. I have to say he's already put a foot wrong yet, apart from being suspended now. But I don't even think he's getting the, the rubber to green with the referees, because he's like a bull. If you wanted anybody to move a piano, he'd be your man, he could probably do it on his own.